Hola community, it's Pablo Vasquez. Do you know what's new in Blender today? EV Motion Blur. Finally, the real-time or fasting-time render engine now has uh, motion blur support for deforming objects, for the, the so-called deformation motion blur, because in the past you used to have only for camera movement, but now finally your uh, deforming objects or even particles or anything would work, even hair particles, for example. So in the release notes, the, the moment there is a demo image here and there is even an intro for the manual. Manual will show you all the settings that you can tweak it's, and, and some images in how to, how to tweak it, but it's really not that hard. If you're familiar with the Blender internal one, it's not so, so different. So what do you have? You have a toggle for motion blur under the render settings, a shutter speed, which is going to be like the amount of blur that you have, how open, how much open is the, the shutter between the each, each frame that happens. And then you have background separation. This setting is going to help you um, avoid this bleeding that there is between the front objects and the back objects, because it's, it's not like ray tracing motion blur, right? It's kind of fakeish. It's post production or so. Um, max max uh, blur, ma maximum blur is going to help you avoid these um, when you're using um, like less samples. It's going to blur in between, so it makes it a bit more fuzzy, more more clear. And then finally, the steps. Steps, it's um, you gotta handle with care because it can add a lot of memory usage to your render, especially if you have particles. But it's uh, now I'm just like very extreme 64, but actually you would maybe handle uh, lower numbers than that. Um, it's very easy to see the difference when you when you tweak the the samples, the, the steps, and you see here you can tell a little bit of the the four samples that you have over there. But uh, if you're fast, like if your characters are moving really fast, and also I have the shutter here in in one, which is like maybe not what you're gonna work on by default. It's just an extreme uh, situation where to show the example. And yeah, it's um, it's feature complete pretty much. There are some tricks that are gonna be done because it's gonna be part of Blender 2.90 and we still have some time to go. So please report any issues that you find. Um, there is one limitation that it's uh, known at the moment, which is uh, with um, transparent objects. So for example, here, these two cubes have, a, um, have two different materials. And this one in particular, the green one, I am, um, uh, if I enabled a alpha blend, for example, and render, you're gonna see a little issue here. You see that the, it's not as, as uh, you know, as uh, nice and fuzzy as this one is. So for that, you gotta increase the steps. That's the only downside. So if you don't have uh, alpha blend um, meshes, like materials, then you should keep this one and this value low so you don't eat so much memory. Uh, if I increase this value, it's gonna like render more uh, here you see, now it's nice and fuzzy, but it uses uh, not so much not so much memory, it depends on the case. If you use particles and hair especially, that uh, number can go high. So you, you gotta test and see what's, uh, what's best. This issue though, for example here where the shadow is also like, it looks a bit strange, you can get rid of if you disable backspace uh, culling and then you have a sort of similar result to what you used to have before. So yeah, that is uh, all with motion blur. It's uh, there, it's been there for a few days already in Blender 2.90, um, so go to builder.blender.org and uh, get the alpha and you should be able to try it. Have fun! play with it, report any issues that you may find, just, uh, just as a reminder, just go to Blender, help report a bug. Any issues you find, if you don't know how to report a bug, I, I made a video about it, about uh, report a bug that you should find it on here. It's uh, on YouTube, so, alright. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, bye.